Hello and welcome to this Exposure Events instructional video. In this video we'll go over how to create brackets, how to schedule them, and how to see uh, how they look on the public side. Let's go ahead and get start started. I'm under my event brackets here. You can also do this under your uh, division, division brackets. I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, plus bracket button here in the top right. Now I'm under my event bracket so I need to choose a division. If you're under division you wouldn't see this division drop down. Default name for the bracket uh, is always championship. If you want to change to gold, silver, red, you can. You can create as many brackets as you want to. If you do create uh, more brackets, you can either you can order those brackets too. Championship is usually one in the order, so you can put one there. If you have consolation games after that, you can put two or three. Uh, most of the time, you won't uh, touch the option section. Um, one I will talk about is high participants. Uh, and once pools are done, uh, we push them to the brackets automatically. Uh, and if you want those hidden before the public can see, you can hide participants. Uh, although the bracket's populated, the public won't see it, but you can uh, if you're logged in and you can uh, actually review it, maybe move some teams around, and then actually uncheck this when you're ready for it to be seen by the public. Uh, the ranking section, if you're doing rankings with us, you can uh, check those out. And always remember we have more information um, help boxes here that will open up and give you more information on that setting. Populate from uh, under the participant section you will touch. If you're doing straight bracket play, number of participants, um, you create that bracket and put the teams in manually. Maybe you want to do a 14 bracket. Uh, single animation is always the default template. Uh, the game guarantee in total games is just for the bracket. It doesn't include pool play. Uh, and most of the time you won't touch it. Uh, you could see the preview down here. And I can actually hit save, uh, do my blank bracket, and actually just put the teams uh, in this way. I could do that. Uh, and the edit button and do it that way. I'm going to go ahead and delete this bracket. Then I'm going to go back. Uh, if you notice here, once I delete it, I'm under the 16U bracket. So I won't have a drop down here. I don't need to choose 16U anymore. And I can uh, show you the other options here. Division standings. This is first in A, first in B, etc. Uh, if I hit save here, you can see what I mean. First, second, third. So it doesn't matter what pool they're in. We'll put them in there, rank them, uh, and put them in uh, the bracket that way. If I delete this, we also have seed standings. This is for more complex scenarios. Let's say you have three pools of three and you want the first place teams to play in a pool, uh, in a bracket. Well, who gets the buy in between those three teams? We could say the first of the first seeds will get this buy, and the other two teams will play that first round game. Uh, you'll see that it looks like this. Uh, I'm going to delete that, though, and show you the most common one, pool standings. So if I see my pool standings here, um, I can deselect the seeds that want to go in this bracket. So if I just want first and second to play, um, I could see my uh, single one game guarantees single elimination. I'm going to keep everyone selected for my two game uh, bracket and hit save. Now, once you create that bracket, most of the time you won't need to touch it, but again, you can hover over it. You can edit the participants here. Uh, check out the source. We have a lot of different options you can choose from. Um, the, if you hit the gear icon right here, it will open up some more uh, uh, options to edit this part. Uh, you can change the layout of this game, uh, game type this for rankings. Uh, rankings uh, show placeholder uh, that basically means if you have the winner of game one loser of game one it will actually show that label on the game if you don't want to show it uh, you can hide it and if it is uh, hidden and you don't want it to be hidden it's because this is not selected so I can throw that there uh, if the brackets flow uh, like here to here uh, that W1 uh, won't show up on the public side but it's because it's you uh, visually know intuitively that this game will go right here of that winner of that game will go right here. Um, now, if you have a large bracket, you can create um, another bracket. But if I just need to add one consolation game, I can go to down the games down here and choose. Uh, you can see what it visually looked like a game, and I can make this game three. I can uh, say, okay, I want the loser of game one to play, and then I want this specific team to play in this bracket, and I can put it over here. Um, I'm going to delete this guy though. I don't need it. Uh, if I do uh, delete a game here, you notice here I don't have a game one. I have game two. If I hit save, it's going to tell me, hey, uh, game two is invalid because I need a uh, uh, game one here. I got to start at game one. So I can hit the move game numbers down here. So if you did mug, delete uh, some games, uh, this will actually squeeze the numbers together uh, quickly so you don't have to do it manually one by one. Uh, you can also edit all. So basically, if you had all the games on here, you don't have to edit them one at a time. You can edit all and then go through uh, your list that way and change your sources and then hit update. Um, you can go to full screen mode if you want to down here. 
Uh, we do have a part section, so if you want to put maybe some text or a sponsor image, you can. Header is just this guy right here, and then venue uh, is this guy right here. Um, of course, you can delete it from here. Um, so let's go ahead and delete all of it again and just recreate it real quick for my pool standings. All right, let's go ahead and schedule this guy. Now, you don't schedule anything on the bracket builder. Uh, no venue, uh, times, uh, assignment. You go to your schedule grid under your event. So I already have my grid created. I already have some pool games created, and here's my two bracket games. So if I hover over that guy, second A, third and A, um, first and A, the winner of one one. Now if I want to see the participants, I could show participants at the bottom here and schedule that way. And I can either drag these games up here, or I can auto schedule after I hit save uh, automatically. Now if I want to uh, put a bracket game for a pool, I'm gonna it's gonna validate that. If I put a round two game for round one, it's gonna validate that. All right, let's go ahead and save here. Let's go ahead and uh, go back to, uh, and now you can't edit any games here. I can't double click on here like I can do with a pool game. You'll have to do that back on the bracket builder page. So if I go to brackets, um, here's that bracket I created. Now if I need to create another bracket, I can. I can say, okay, um, I want to do a 16, you know, pool stain. Just, I'm just going to duplicate the bracket. There's my two brackets here. Um, if I go into my details on my championship, I can actually see a preview of it. It's an 8.5 by 11 PDF. Uh, we'll make the bracket fit landscape or portrait, um, depending on the size of it. Uh, but you can uh, uh, blow these up, put them in your gym walls, put them in the college coaches packets, because they are vector-based. They don't lose any quality. Uh, if I go to reports, there is a brackets report. I can open that up and basically see all the brackets in my, my PDF 8.5 uh, by 11 uh, form here. Now, let's go to my uh, event settings, and I'm just going to go to the bracket section real fa fast, and go to brackets. Um, show initial placeholder. If you uh, want to show the W1, L1, uh, the winner of game one, L uh, loser of game one, everywhere, um, um, even on connected games, uh, you can do that. Show outcome placeholder. Uh, there will be a label of first and A once that. Uh, first and A is determined. We put the team there, but we hide the first and A um, just because it's uh, a lot cleaner. However, if you want to keep the first and A there in parentheses, uh, you can show the outcome placeholder there. If I go to standings, um, if you had manual bracket placement here, the pools won't push the teams to the bracket. You'll have to do it manually, so make sure you didn't do that. Uh, and also make sure your tiebreaker rules set. Uh, if you have a tie, we're not going to push them to the bracket either. Now, if I go back to my uh, event details page, I can publish my brackets from here, which they already are. I can go to the schedule button here and actually just click on um, a 16U and see my bracket down here. Uh, if I want to open up a full screen of it, I can do it there and change uh, to gold here. I didn't schedule any games. And that's pretty much it for uh, bracket creation. Uh, thank you for watching this Exposure Events instructional video.